Hi my friends, it's challenge time and today I'm doing DIYs for Hocus Pocus number two. Come along and see my new creations. DIY number one. Hi, for this DIY, I thought about doing a Sanderson sister sign and what better way to do that than to have some witch's legs with some spooky looking um, shoes. So I'm just taking this mesh off of the legs. I don't like it um, and I'm going to go ahead and paint my own design on it. So I'm just m trying to get that off. And then what I eventually do is um, remove the shoes so that I can work on the, um, the legs. Uh, I was challenged in the beginning because I was trying to keep everything attached, but um, as I was doing it, I realized that's not gonna work. I really need to pull everything apart. So here I am just um, embellishing the shoes with some of that yellow I don't know they call it puff paint but not dimensional paint um, so I use that yellow um, dimensional paint on all of the shoes and um, if you noticed on this one here I removed the spiky looking top to the shoe um, but I did leave it on one set of shoes just to give it a different look So now that the shoes are done, I go on to doing um, a design on the stocking. Now again, you can see how I'm trying to um, work with the, the legs um, attached. Well, um, later on you'll see I had to remove them because it did not work. Um, it was too difficult to try to keep them separated. And here's all the shoes all done and ready to go. Now I just got to work on the rest of these little legs. There they are, orange, purple, and you see how I um, detach them and I actually detach them again. Um, here I had some little hats from the Dollar Tree. That one was a green one and I needed it to be silver. So I used that silver paint pen and then I added a little ribbon. So I don't have a Cricut, so I had to buy these wing window clings from Amazon. Um, and I really um, hope that this is gonna work out. I'm loving this one. It came in a set, I think there's four um, in each. And there's a birthday party coming up for my niece, nieces. And so I thought, you know, I can buy the extra clings and we can use it for the birthday party. So that's my thought. So I'm going to try to um, apply this window cling to this wooden frame. And I'm going to use Mod Podge. I'm hoping that it works. Um, I got this on the 75% off sale at Hobby Lobby. So I only paid $1.59, which is a great deal. So um, once I apply the picture, I'm hoping to apply it this way. I have something else that I'm going to be hanging off of the sign. So stay tuned. So we're gonna start off by painting this um, white. We wanna get rid of this home sweet home because I just want the sign itself. All right, in order for them to fit, I have to have the sign this way and I'm gonna have to have the legs going at an angle and different varying of heights. I forgot that uh, I needed to hang it, so I guess I had to do it for the from the long ways. So it's gonna kind of impede what I was gonna do, but oh well. And then here is the little skirt. Each one has one, and but as you see, it's just way too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down this way and then this way so that I can have a smaller skirt and I'm going to put that right behind each set of legs so it looks like um, the legs are coming out from underneath the skirt okay so now that I have all of my dresses complete I'm going to go ahead and glue them to the back here 
and I'm just gonna let them let it hang down a little bit so that it looks like the dresses okay so I'm gonna glue those in and then we'll flip it over and see what it looks like and I forgot I had to put the hat on so I went ahead and glued those to the back uh, put a little piece of cardboard and um, got them glued in and they look okay uh, the sticks were a little too long but it's okay it looks pretty good now I'm going to go ahead and put that Mod Podge and now the window clings and um, once I do that then I will put a coat of Mod Podge over the top to seal and here it is the final reveal of this DIY super cute I was so impressed until I started doing editing and I noticed that the colors don't match on the bottom of the legs or the hats to the ladies so after this I will be taking them off and re-gluing them correctly I want to take this opportunity to um, introduce you to our host, Hocus Pocus 2. It's Indy Annie Jones. Oh my gosh, she is fabulous. And her channel is Crafting with Indy Annie Jones. So don't miss going over and checking out her page. She is hilarious and she makes awesome crafts. Now on to DIY number two. In this DIY, I'm going to be making a Hocus Pocus book stack. I paint um, with a coat of white chalk paint. I'm using Admiral Blue and this Fruit Punch to make a color purple since I don't have any. Then I painted the first layer with orange, second black, and third the purple. And then I put those orange polka dots on it using this little tool. Then I decided to use this color shift paint that causes it to look like it sh has a shimmer effect. Okay, I went ahead and put my letters on. I don't have a Cricut machine, so I just have to use these stickers. Um, I believe I found them at the Dollar Tree, maybe. I'm not really sure. So now I'm going to add my ribbon and an embellishment on the top. So I decided to add some of this black ribbon um, with the, um, the other ribbon on top of that, and I thought that looked a lot better. I really wanted a Binks cat and this is the only thing I could find um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off of this welcome sign that I got from the Dollar Tree and um, I wanted to use the hat too but uh, I don't like it because it's got the L on it so I'm just going to use the little the little Binksy face. So I decided to add just a sprig of green and um, this shimmering black vine to the top of um, the ribbon and then I'm gonna go then I'm also going to add a um, little spider it came in the Dollar Tree um, rings and uh, I just spray painted it black and I just added that to it and I thought that gave it a little um, you know a nice little look so now I've got my little Binksy I used a towering tumble block um, painted it black and then I'm gonna add him to it and you see I made like a little bow tie for Binksy <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with um, how that one turned out I was trying to think is Binksy a boy or a girl it sounds like a boy name so I'm hoping it's not a girl <laughs> DIY number three. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this frame. It says mom on it. But I'm gonna cover that up. Or I'm gonna attempt to try to take it off with alcohol and use this with some of those Hocus Pocus stickers that I got to make a cute little picture. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so I think earlier I said I was gonna take it off uh, the mom the mom turn it this way the mom thing off with alcohol but it's actually a uh, nail polish remover you just get it from the dollar tree for a dollar 25 so i'm just um just applying a little bit of pressure and it's just coming right off all right now that i took the mom off and I'm gonna use a piece of this cardstock, but this way. And there's like a little pocket in here. 
and I'm just going to stick that down inside that pocket. So now that I have um, that decorative piece in the back, now I'm going to add my tree to the corner. And let's see if we can get this on here where all of the branches are fitting. All right, so it takes them a little finagling to get all of the air bubbles. And okay, so now that I got my tree, let's add a couple bats. And now I'm going to add the ladies. All right, so I added my ladies. I think it's pretty cute. The only thing is there's no writing up here. I kind of feel like it needs something. I don't have a Cricut, so I just have to use these letters from this discount store I go to. Um, they were a dollar each, so they're a little bit cheaper than Hobby um, Dollar Tree, but I like the color variations and then um, the type. So I went ahead and um, added a muck, a muck, a muck to my little sign um, that's going to go in my picture frame. Okay, so now that I have my um, picture done, this is actually supposed to um, hang on the wall, but um, I need it to sit up on my chair tray. So I'm just going to um, add some blocks. I didn't have any silver paint, so I just used this paint pen. And you'll see it in the final reveal. Now for DIY number four, our last DIY. So for this DIY, I'm going to be using this picture. I got this at Hobby Lobby on a 75% off. So it was only $2.19. So I'm going to use this frame for a um, window clean that I got from Amazon. So I just wanted to show you that this is just a piece of foam. This picture is just on a foam board and I had a heck of a time getting it out. You see all those marks are staple marks. So I finally got it out. And now that I got it out, um, I need something um, in it as a background. So I had this piece of felt. I don't remember where I got it, but um, so I'm going to go ahead and add this piece of felt to the back of this frame so that when I put my window clings on in the front, um, you won't see this brown craft paper. So these window clings are um, too long because they're attached and I only have enough space for um, two of them to be side by side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one. Actually, I'm going to have to cut the two, all three pieces apart because I want um, these two together and this one apart. Look at how cute this sign came out. I got another option for you, so stay tuned. Now let's see the final reveal. Welcome to the lair. <laughs> this is something I thought I would see in Hocus Pocus and I wanted to have this as my backdrop. Look at the spooky stuff. But there is the cauldron brewing up some magical potion to put everyone under their spell. And you see all the different bottles of potions. And there's the spell book. Now let's see how I display all of my DIYs in front of this awesome backdrop. Welcome to my little display for Hocus Pocus. Here's my sign that I put together. Super cute. And then my little book stack with Binks the cat. And he has a little bow tie. <laughs> and I made that little garland back there. Um, but I just made it from beads that came from Amazon. So I'm not sure why I didn't film that. But most people know how to 
string some beads. <laughs> and then here is my Sanderson sisters picture. And it says amok, amok, amok. That is super cute. I like how that turned out. So here are my three. A um, couple of them were DIYs. Well, I guess all three. If you guys like them. I have one more, but it's one that hangs. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show that one in a few minutes. And here is the other option of the sign. I wanted to change it up because this is what I really, really wanted. Um, the brooms with the vacuum cleaner. Come while we fly. And here is the Hocus Pocus sign. Um, I believe we showed that already. I just want to say a big thank you to Indiana Jones for putting on this collaboration. And remember, if you're not already subscribing to this channel, please, please <laughs> consider joining. Hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I up upload a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. I do truly appreciate it. Until next time, you guys have fun, stay safe, and keep on crafting if you're that crafty type. Bye-bye now.